Okay, so we're at the mix in LA at E3, talking about a game called Typo Man. Now, I saw this game a while back. It looks a lot different now. It's a Wii U exclusive. So tell us, tell us first of all, what, what is Typo Man? Uh, Typo Man is a platformer, but a very unique one. We used uh, typography as the, as, as the central theme of the game. So you solve puzzles using uh, words and language and not uh, buttons and weapons. It's, it's a very sort of interesting game. I mean, you can see it behind here. You got rain and you got the D dangling in front of it. Perhaps that creates a word. It's like a, it's like a game that is made out of word puns all the time. And you have to sort of keep your wits about you to sort of solve the puzzles. Exactly. That's the premise of the game. You have to Think about each situation and then uh, think about what kind of word can help you here. Or um, how you change a word in a way that it helps you um, advance in the game. Many different ways to do that. And, and a lot of it is like, you f and, and, and one of the things I, I understand, you, you want to make it so that there's always different ways of how you manipulate this word so that it doesn't feel like you're, do you're solving the same puzzle over and over again. Exactly. That, it took us a lot of time to um, to consider that people could craft words other than the ones that we intended them to do. So um, there will always be a reaction to what the player does. So there will always always be uh, surprising moments also because um, maybe people are wondering, can I craft this word? Okay, it doesn't make any sense here, but we know that he could craft this word because we can combine the letters and know what kind of words he can come up with. And it's, of course, um, uh, something we, we want to consider and um, give him a reaction to that, even if, if it's just an Easter egg or something. And, and try and avoid so that you cannot create any dirty words or anything like that, right? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see when the, when thinking we about it. <laughs> So uh, I gotta say, like from what I saw before, the art style has really evolved since then. Can you tell us about what what kind of things you put into it since uh, I saw it last? Uh, the last time you saw it, it was on uh, at Gamescom. It was in the Indie Mega booth. At that time, we had only a, a very early prototype, where we just wanted to showcase the game and see the reaction. And the reaction was completely positive, and we and people liked playing it. So uh, we teamed up, we are six, six in the team now, and um, I, I have a very, nice, a very good artist, a very good game designer who's a bit crazy, who comes up with all the puzzles that you will encounter in the game. And I'm very happy because um, we're, we're a very um, um, good team. We're working together very well. This week, you were sort of part of that sort of Nindy movement, if you will. Nintendo's sort of focus on, on, on indies, and, and you're coming out exclusively on Wii U. Can you tell us a little bit of how, how that came to be? Um, yeah, at, at the time you were checking out the game, um, we were thinking about what, what the target platform could be, and we um, thought about it a lot, and thought about the gamepad uh, support that, that the Wii U has, has and it perfectly fits the game and, and what we want it to become. And Nintendo is superb. We've, we've been uh, Nintendo fanboys for uh, uh, since we were young um, and it was an easy decision in the end. And so Nintendo ha has been very supportive. It's a great, um, great partner. So, so how does the gamepad support the, the game concept? Um, I, you have played the game. It's, and there will, will be situations where you need to craft a certain word. It could be a longer word. So you need time to move letters around. 
and the touch functionality of the gamepad is perfect for that, for example. There will also be a hint system if you get stuck at some puzzles, uh, which will also help you and which is perfect for the, for the second screen, so you don't get uh, distracted in the, in, the first, in the TV screen. That's very interesting, because uh, that's, it is always sort of a, you, it's, it's interesting how you can sort of use the second screen for many different things, but because I, when I saw this game, I didn't think of it as a second screen game, but now that you say it, it sort of lends itself naturally. It makes sense, yes. At different uh, stages of the game, uh, there will also be another feature, um, and we thought about it a lot. It, it makes sense, of course, yeah. Uh, where are you at in sort of in development right now with the game and, and what, what's the road ahead? Um, as you can see the uh, the art style is, um, is um, almost finished. We're in the final stage of the implementation of the assets that we already created and we're hopefully finishing the game in the third quarter maybe in, in uh, August or September, hopefully. Very soon. Very exciting. Typo Man, uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.